Not at five, President Trump's trip to Tuscaloosa presented good optics for one candidate vying for a U.S. Senate seat. Congressman Bradley Byrne was side by side with the president for the big game Saturday. NBC 15's Andrea Ramey spoke with Byrne about his time spent with the president. Andrea? Well, Kim, the president this weekend said he has not decided who he will support in the Republican primary next March. Already a crowded field before former Attorney General Jeff Sessions jumped into the race last week. And according to Byrne, the president once again made it clear Saturday he wasn't happy with Sessions. Representative Bradley Byrne animated in his outpouring of support for President Trump during his visit to T-Town. Seen here in the box seats, standing near the president, the only candidate for Senate seen doing so. I don't think the president would have invited me to his box if he didn't like me and support what I'm doing in Washington. Byrne says during the three hours spent with the president at Saturday's game, the Senate race was discussed. I was very encouraged by his words. Well, can you can you share any of what he was saying when you were talking about the Senate race? What, what thoughts? Well, he's very unhappy with Jeff Sessions, and uh, I mean, he's made that pretty clear before now. Uh, he's very unhappy with Jeff Sessions, and uh, he's very interested in somebody that's presently fighting for him in Washington, getting over in the Senate and fighting for him in the Senate. The president, non-committal, when asked who he'd back in the race. We're looking at a lot of different people. It's going to be a pretty hot primary from what I understand. In a state where the president's support is high, candidates are jockeying to be viewed as Trump loyalists. Former Auburn coach Tommy Tuberville in Mobile today likened himself to the president, an outsider looking to shake up the swamp in D.C. We're in trouble. This country's in trouble. This state's in trouble. And if we keep sending the same people to Washington, D.C., we're going to get the same result. Now, there will most certainly be a runoff. Eight candidates qualified Friday to run in the March Republican primary. The candidates still have until December 17th to withdraw their names from appearing on the ballot.